um, hello guys, good afternoon. So I just recently posted about the breakdown analysis of VIX 751S. So today, um, currently I'm going to be talking about VIX 25 and also VIX 50. I don't know if I shared VIX 50 right here. All right, so it's not actually here, but I think if I go to my chat, I could possibly see it there. Alright, so this is VIX 50 right here. Alright, so I took a shot right here and I'll explain exactly what happened right here using the algorithm D range. And uh, this is 25. Okay. Um, um, okay, I kind of like think I have VIX 50, but it seems like it's supposed to be here but I can't find it anyway alright so I have when it tapped and it sold off yeah so let me just explain this VIX 25 and VIX 50 um, for you guys so I'm going to dive into my chat and this is VIX 25 alright so um, let's uh, start an analysis Alright, so the first thing is to go up to the higher time frame. The early time frame shows us a very clean directional bias. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to click my control B and I delete all my drawings from MT5. Alright, we close. Now um, if you pay attention to the monthly time frame based on structure, you can actually see that we have a very strength, like this is the uh, lower low, this is the lower high. That traded off from this order block or supply zone, which traded lower to give us a new lower low. So the expectation is to see a new lower high, and that is what we see happening right here. We have a pullback, and we trade into this area of supply right there, and we sold off, came back up. So what I'm going to focus right now is this current swing high and the swing low, and you can actually see that we are inside this range high and this range low. So with that, we can. Um, have our directional bias to where we want the price to go to all right so we mark this has our range high we'll mark this as our range low that is our daily range we are inside this range high and this range low so that is by the way um, the next thing now is this um, swings high and swing low we are actually seeing right here it's kind of like an internal liquidity or an internal range that is inside the external um, highs and low right so I'm not going to be talking about all of this I'll be focusing on this previous month candle that is our previous month um, highs and lows so we are now dropping down to the list of the analysis right we started from the um, from finding the structure we look at how price tap the supply zone we mark out the um, range that we are then we now move down to the previous month candle, right? So um, having previous month highs and lows. Now, this is the inside liquidity range that we are dealing with. Now, when we break trade out of each any of this high or this low, then we will now know if it wants to go to this high or and this high, right? All of that will be based on confirmation entry. So that is that is it. So this month of October opened, and we actually see how it traded higher. So now we will, we are not actually seeing anything on the monthly time frame. We can drop down to the weekly time frame. Now the weekly time frame showed us something that we can analyze to have a confluence, right? This is that um, external high and low. It tapped this old block, tried to trade higher, did not break our structure. It traded lower, tried to go higher again. That this movement shows uh, a lack of momentum, right? So we didn't uh, didn't even also break this high. So this entered a range, all right? So it's a consolidating market inside this swing high and this swing low. Now, most of you guys might be wondering why I'm not analyzing like you guys. Now the issue there is, I am a swing trader, all right? I am not a scalper or a day trader. The same way that I invest in the stock market to hold for a long term is the same way that I trade um, the market. All right, I prefer long term something that we tap and keeps running without me bothering myself. So I 
don't get to analyze all the time i get to do other projects that i have at hand and some travelings that i have to do that comes up anytime so that is it now this highs and low that is our previous month highs and lows and seeing that we did not break our structure we did not break any highs even this order block got violated right here we didn't break a high we didn't break this high either so this one traded lower it did a hunt on sell stop tried to go higher but did not and the month ended for september then october opened so um we now go down to our daily time frame now if you look very 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 closely on daily time frame you can actually see something interesting that happened uh, right here and that is this structure here this very structure um, everyone including myself we like to sell from here right so price tapped we had a interaction it violated doing what sweeping this high now this consolidation on top of that high is a purge of liquidity and in other words it did not also go for this swing high all right so it purge not a structural break now the reason why I am not printing uh, or labeling highs and lows in this kind of market is because number one this market is consolidating so when the market is ranging it doesn't tell you that it is in a bullish trend or a bearish trend in other words i am not paying attention to any structural trend that is being printed like this one most people will start seeing this has a very good structure or the general character i am not seeing it that way for the reason that we are inside a range all right it is ranging so it is not telling me that we are bullish or we are bearish someone might see this and say it is bearish it depends on the way you analyze it but me seeing it it is not bearish it is what in a dealing range all right so we had that sweep and yeah it got violated all right and even this high uh small money traders you should notice that you when you have liquidity together with a point of interest you should are likely to be liquidity so you get um it sweeps the bar side uh liquidity pool um then did not go for this buy stop so it's shifted so keep dropping down to the lower time frame you're trying to find something interesting and this is where we find something interesting and that is we seeing this structure high low now this structure was printed for the purpose of violating the supply and also taking liquidity from this high that was why this old block is printed so it is a sell that is being induced in the market for the purpose to buy in order to take liquidity right there so we are most likely to say that we want to buy from here most traders wants to buy from there right so price print another high another low this did not get tapped and price traded higher again came back giving us a structure so this right here is no more value to me due to the fact that it trades from another order block and then it failed right the bullish printing failed um hunting retail traders there is right here so it's kind of like um building up liquidity pool and sweeping those liquidity pools right so we traded lower into the area of demand it had a reaction but it showed a sign of weakness then it got violated right so now what we are currently having here is what uh, supply and demand traders called the supply to demand flip all right so it's a flip all right so i'm deleting this and this is that area of supply right here now if we keep down keep on running down to lower time frame you see that there's an order block right there or the supply zone so let's go down to the six hour time frame let's go down to the four hour time frame and there it is on the four hour time frame it is hidden on the four hour time frame in the higher time frame so it's kind of like very very clear on the eight hour because that was where i saw the analysis and shared it with the theme all right so this was the um demand that got tapped and got violated so it is a flip demand to supply flip so now another thing with us also is when it comes to um, confirmation entry all right when price taps your poi if you're expecting this to go higher you are 
expecting the price to violate a bearish strand so let's go to trading view and i'll explain to you now let's just say that we have this has a demand zone now when price is coming down to a demand zone it is coming down with a bearish printing right has a pullback into that uh, demand zone now when it taps what you're waiting for confirmation is for price to break this high this high that gave you this low right price should break that high giving you a confirmation entry that your old block is valid then you can now execute a buy order so it has now shifted from this bearish um, pullback to a bullish um, trend to be in alignment with your higher time frame point of interest so um that is just how um it is for your confirmation entry so in the case of this one right here do you can see this is the low lower low this is a lower high price tapped into the demand it traded upwards and the supply right there held the price all right it refused to allow price to buy the same thing that we did on vix 75 for one airs so it pushed the price so that it can beat this demand zone so remember when i said on 75 one as an other block violating an opposing other block is valid in this case this is valid and um that is a demand supply flip okay so now the next thing is to look for inducement this is our inducement right here for price to sweep the high tap our points of interest and we trade lower so the price started trading higher higher without printing a bullish trend all right it did not print a high 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 low this is just a choppy trend we tap and it sold and someone who might possibly use this demand zone would like to buy it, but it got swept and if we run down to the lower time frame you actually see a confirmation entry right there just like i explained um before you can actually see this is a low this is a high this is a low if you wanted to buy you are expecting this to get broken and a bullish trend should be printed before you start buying in this case this order block held the price after it filled up this inefficiency it held the price and it now pushed it lower and that is it now vix 50 vix 50 very clean setup similar to that of vix 25 now in the case of vix 50 if i go up to my higher time frame the movie time frame you can actually identify something that i wrote right here this is 2019 high and this is 2021 uh, low so this is a range all right not a short short printed we are in a range in market so this is our resistance this is our support these are the key areas of resistance and support that is the major highs and low all right the external high and low the major swing high and low the area of major buy stop and sell stop anyone you choose to call it so price trade into the resistance it tapped show the reaction came back up and swept that liquidity pool resting on that 2019 high right so when something like that will call what will you want to see you want it to be drawn to those areas where we have in support it could likely come down to this low that is how it could possibly be depends all right so uh now me seeing this sweep of this range high you guys know how i trade when a range high is swept i am targeting the range low has a take profit because i am a swing trader or a position trader running down to the weekly time frame the weekly time frame showed a bullish trend higher 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 low higher 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 low. but my main focus is seeing knowing that this is a ranging market and i'm paying attention on how price will react on these areas of uh, resistance or key uh, area of buy stop so we have the higher high higher low trade into a demand it bought took this high swept that major high then it came back down to this bullish order block it had a reaction to start buying in the bullish order block now similar to what i said if you are expecting to buy you will be wanting is to shift trend in this case this is the high you're expecting is to break before you look for sales but in this case that area of um, supply rejected price right so that is the order block right here this is a 
uh, consultation um, distribution it's now retrace kind of like reversal then continuation occurred so um, then you could possibly go down to your lower time frame and we look for confirmation thing all right so um, possibly the one hour time frame so right here when price tapped you see the structure has shaped right there right then all of these are liquidity so this is the origin of where the markets broke this started to break the structure so price retraced backwards tapped it trade lower violating the other block breaking the structure retraced backwards again general supply and boom it just distributed and i cannot find any other form of a confirmation entry to take all right so um i guess that is just how the breakdown analysis is so that is why it is very very important to the reason why i always lament and say please start your analysis from your higher time frame to know the overall direction of buyers for you okay and um that is it so take care and be safe